Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today we are going to be making gorgeous Christmas signs and home decor pieces using Dollar Tree gift bags and boxes. For this project you will need this 4x6 picture frame from the Dollar Tree and the first thing I did was give it two coats of white Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white. Now I'm just taking the picture that came with the frame and centering on the part of the gift bag that I want to cut out and then I'm just going to cut that part out. For the image to be sturdy I'm going to use that same picture that came with the picture frame and I'm going to Mod Podge my Mary and Bright straight onto that little picture and then just trim the edges. I'm going to use the flogged greenery from this beautiful bundle from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut off the excess and hot glue it towards the top center of my frame. Then I'm going to take some greenery that I have from spring and I'm just going to put those in the center and then I'm going to cut off a little bit of berries from that same cotton bundle and just hot glue those in the middle. I decided to add just a tiny bit more greenery so I took two more of those spring leaves and added them behind the center greenery. To get started on the sled I'm going to take the tags off and then I'm just going to grab a piece of sandpaper from the Dollar Tree and sand down where it says let it snow because it was all in sparkles and I'm going to be painting over that in my chalk Rust-Oleum paint and I gave it two good coats. Because the picture I will be using has black undertones in it, I'm going to grab some black chalk paint and I'm actually going to paint the little sticks that are behind the sled all in black. Now I'm going to grab my beautiful gift bag and I'm going to cut out the design itself. Now I'm tracing the design around the sled, cutting it out and mod podging it to the sled. Now it's time to decorate our sled. I'm using some greenery from a pick that I had left over and it's just a holly leaf and a Christmas tree branch. I'm cutting off any excess and hot gluing it to the side of the sled top. I knew that I wanted a bow with a long tail to bring the whole picture together. So I'm measuring out the length that I need of my grosgrain ribbon. Then I'm going to take some of this red and white checkered ribbon and cut it to the same size as I measured my first bow. To make the bows, I'm first going to take the white one, find the center, make a simple bow, and then I'm going to use needle and thread to bring the bow together. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the second bow, bring it together nice and even and then use that same thread and put the needle through that second bow. I'm going to loop that same thread around the center of the bow. That way we have a nice tight center and the bow loops will pop out really nicely. Next I'm cutting the tail ends on an angle and singeing the ends to prevent fraying. Please use caution during this process. To complete the look I'm going to take two of these mini poinsettia flowers. To make them fuller I'm just going to hot glue them one on top of the other and then to the center of my bow. This video is part of the Christmas DIY and decor challenge. This challenge is being hosted by my beautiful friend Christina from the DIY Mommy. I will link her channel down below along with the playlist so you can see all the participants in this challenge. For this project I will be using this wooden ornament and a gift bag from the Dollar Tree and to get started I'm just tracing the ornament on top of my gift bag and then cutting it out. Next I'm attaching the cutout to the wooden board using Mod Podge. I wanted the greenery to cascade from the center of the ornament to the sides so the first thing I'm using here is some of this frosted fern then some greenery from one of the picks that I use this year and then these berries are actually from last year's Dollar Tree haul but they are so beautiful and they worked so well on this ornament and now I'm also using this pine cone that came with these berries and I'm just putting it in the middle of the ornament. 
how beautiful and elegant is this little decor. For the last step, I'm just hot gluing a piece of jute cord to the back of the ornament. For this project I will be using a stove cover, they come in a set of two from the Dollar Tree and I'm using the bigger one. Now I'm centering the stove top cover over my snowflake, tracing it and then cutting it out. I attached the snowflake to the stovetop cover using some tacky glue and so I just spread the glue on top then smoothed it out and then put my snowflake on top and centered it to the best of my ability. Before I started working on the front of the project I decided to grab a piece of jute cord and hot glue to the back of the stove cover. Now I'm grabbing this ribbon that was in my stash and it's like a fat chenille wire that is poofy and white and really really pretty and I'm going to hot glue it to the edges of my snowflake. So I'm grabbing these pom-poms from the Dollar Tree of course and I'm just setting the really tiny tiny red ones on the tips of the snowflake and then I added a big white poofy one in the center. For this project we are using a gift box and a board that looks like a tag that I got at the Dollar Tree also. Now I'm tracing where I want the tag to be and then just cutting it out. Before gluing the sign onto the tag, I first need to find the little hole to hang the sign. I put the sign underneath my tag sign, trace the hole and then cut it out with a hole puncher. To attach my sign to the tag board, I'm using some tacky glue and then just smoothing my sign on top of the board. To make this image just a tiny bit 3D, I'm grabbing a small brush, dipping it in some Mod Podge and then just outlining some of the berries, the flowers, the poinsettia leaves and then just putting the iridescent sparkle over it and tapping off the excess. Now I want to make a bow for the top and when you have a very busy piece you need to be very careful as to what ribbon you use. I always like to use a white ribbon when possible when I'm working with a busy sign. So what I did I measured off how big I want my bow and then I cut two even pieces of that size. Now I'm grabbing this white and red checkered ribbon and I'm also cutting it to the length of my white ribbon. To make my bow I'm going to layer my ribbon and I'm going to do white checkered red and then white on top. Now I find my middle, make my simple bow, bring it together with a floral wire and then we are going to cut the tails on an angle and singe the edges. Now I'm just grabbing some white cotton cord, feeding it through the little hole on top and then hot gluing the knot to the back of my sign. Now it's time to hot glue the bow on top of my sign. Then I grabbed some red berries and I decided to put a little bit of iridescence on the berries also to bring everything together. And so after doing that just glued that to the center of the bow and I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed these DIYs. Let me know down below which one is your favorite. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the thumbs up and the bell. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.